and welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2 with Wayno. So, um, I jumped in and out of my single player world to test how it was built. The Void Miner, this bad boy over here. And I came to the conclusion it has to use the structure panels, which are you empowered Void Crystal, which needs a lead crystal, a hop graphite, hardened coal block, and a bitumenonos peat. A bitumenonos. Minos. Some shit like that anyway. Anyway, to get the lead one, you need clean lead slurry, and I don't even know what this is, but you make a lead crystal. That's in a chemical crystallizer. To get a chemical crystallizer, you need just your basic circuits, a couple of tanks, atomic alloy and a steel casing. Steel casing actually not too bad. These aren't too bad, none of this is too bad except your atomic, uh, your metal metallic infuser to get this which you need refined iron which is enriched, you need a diamond, everything is through the metallurgic infuser which is fine. And you need compressed refined one of these two, obsidian, so you can actually break these down or in a plate to get that uh, osmium compressor which is osmium and refined but you don't refine iron there you go, obsidian in a metallurgic, metallurgic infuser so it's basically we need a couple of things to get this going because I can actually make these I sat down and I thought about it, I can get it. A hop a graphite actually needs to be through your hop graphite, which is through here. Coke dust in an industrial squeezer with eight of these into one. So it's a hell of a lot of way to actually get there to make these. I need 20 of these and you get nine per one. So I'll need to make, I'm sorry, you need 20 and you need four of the, um, crap, you need 20 structure blocks and you get one of these and you need four per one so that's a lot, that, that, that's a lot. so yeah you're looking at probably f uh, four of the these big blocks to be made which I would make anyway so I'm a little ways of this so I can divert my attention to that to get that up and running um, which would take you know some time away doing other stuff but before I even start that god damn sheep I was wondering why I was moving before we start that I actually want to put my energy to making the um, energetic not energetic god damn it uh, the refined storage just it so I've done most of these so I haven't done anything else I just watched um, something while I was having a little break and now I am going to get into refined storage because I need refined storage now because I am sick of running out of room and no automation stuff like that so I will be going to do refined storage I will get back to doing the void miner because I think that will be the better way to actually go for getting all my ores and that it will take some time to set up but at least get there and be able to work so we need to finish off the controller, which we needed a diamond, which it should, a hopefully one has shown up, which six has, so we'll just grab all of them. And we needed silicon, which we have 23. So we should be able to make a controller. Bam. That's the first part. The other part is we need to actually make another disk disk drive? It might be called a disk manipulator. Looks like a disk manipulator is what we're actually looking for is a disk drive. But we need to make another machine chassis. So it's going to be using actually quite a few things. So I know that's a disk drive. Disk manipulator. Oh. Okay, so we need a disk drive anyway. But we need several other bits and pieces first. So we need to find a nice place where to put it. I was thinking of just over here. Right there. Power to it. Well, actually, we'll probably put it straight up here. Bam. And she's online. 
So we can just run everything down here and off of it. There's no big issue it being there. It's online. It's just drawing power. Uh, actually, no power. It just charged. That was it. So that's good. We actually need to make a few things. First of all, we need to make a solder. This is the first thing because we need all these other extra stuff. So we need to get that. Okay. I'll just quickly write something down to remember for root usage. <laughs> okay, so I oh, and put music on. So we need a solder. We need two of these. And we have enough to make them. Beautiful, look at that. And we need that. I will grab some glass because we'll probably need glass and we'll need some wood um, and we need to make some pistons so and we'll need blood as well so uh, I'm sure I put them around here somewhere no they're blood orbs uh, congealed blood there these will make the pistons for us whoops ah got to remember I can always push backspace to go in. So there's our two. There's our other two. There is our solder. Now we need some cabling. Uh, 12 will do. We don't want to overspend our quartz because we are not making enough. So um, we'll put this straight under here. So it looks straight under doesn't it? Look, Dumbledore, I'm a wizard too! I don't know if it needs power or not. Uh, yes, it does. It's using 3 FE constantly. Hmm. Okay, so this will eventually make ours. We will need multiple of these, but one is good enough for now. And I'm really creepy over this. I look at it as like a black spot. We'll get rid of that. Okay, we want to make the drive disk disk drive first. So we need a one of these. We are actually getting really low on quartz again. We're going to have to make a heap of these of netherrack because we're going to need heaps of quartz. So okay, so we need a chest. And we will need a advanced processor, which is one silicon in here. Uh, yeah, and then a really? Do we need to do that multiple times? I'm guessing so. So we need one diamond. So yeah, so one silicon, one diamond, and one redstone. So we should have that all on us already. This will this will take our time because it has to do multiple and then we put the auto crafting behind it and so forth so on to get it all you know working into auto crafting same as applied logistics but applied logistics you need to do uh, all these crystal stuff in that where this is actually a little bit easier and you don't have to worry about channels and so forth and stuff so one of you one of you and one of you which will make the process as you can see this is all the refined stuff all nice and compact now if I do applied you have all of this all of it and this so you think refined was like here so yeah I don't know if it does liquids um, but let's have a quick look uh, I don't think it does liquids this one or if it did ever do liquids. So applied logistics may be better, but you've got to worry about all the other stuff. So you can actually mix them. I think you can connect them together somehow. I am not sure. And if you can connect them together, I would love of that. But we'll find that out in later. I just want to get the storage and stuff. I can even use the other one just for wall liquids. That is no big deal. So a disk drive. And there is our disk drive. 
So we should be able to put that there, and this should actually have power. Uh, yes, see? So everything interconnects and stuff. I don't know why this is actually draining power, but it is. Um, okay, so now we need to make some disk drives. Um, so there are several of them. I oh, say so it does fluids here, so there you go. So we don't need to mix them. I knew they did fluids, but I've actually never used fluids in this one, so I didn't know what they looked like. So, oh wow, this is so different to applied logistics or in, uh, applied engineering, because if you look underneath the storage disk drive, it's stored that set amount. The other one used to work out to do 4Ks and, because it only holds 63 of that type at 4000 storage. Well this is holds 4000 units of everything, so this is actually better. So that is really really nice, but the problem is, is we need to get these to auto crafting. So we want to do a pattern grid so this can actually make the patterns and you don't need all this stuff in here to start it off you just need this stuff so I need to make let's see a grid so technically we'll need two grids so what's that oh wow that's actually quite a quite a lot of stuff we may end up running out of um, yeah see we're already missing quartz so we're gonna have to make a hell of a lot of quartz uh... no what am i doing um, did i leave... no okay so we're gonna have a problem we will be running out of quartz really quickly and i accidentally put something in here my bucket so that is going to be a problem so we're going to have to need to get a hell of a lot of netherrack netherrack is actually quite easy to make oops i actually hit u not r and if you go at the end here it is just blaze powder and cobblestone so we need 24 um, per stack uh... that's not what i was looking for um, 64 divided by 24 2.6 that's not what i was looking for um, 24 divided by 64? No. What is it? How many... Okay, that's not what I... 24 times 72. So if we go for a full stack of these against... Oh, I don't know, I've misdone the calculations completely. Um, doing a lot of maths on the screen does stuff me up. I don't know why, but oops, because um, it's 24 per st stack. So let's break this down. Uh, oh no, I'll do this on screen, and you can laugh at me. So we need a little bit more, and I'm pretty sure it's another eight of these. So that should be really there. So what's that total? Yeah, 72. I was doubting myself in the calculations really badly. Uh, oh well. So if we go U, 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 and U, alright, that will give me heaps of netherrack. I know I was doing it this way over here, but this way over here takes a long time, and when you actually run out of blood, it does affect it. So, yeah, it's done quite well, but I thought it would be a lot quicker, but that's okay of this. Now the question is should I make another rock crusher and and that because currently 
and again it comes back down to power because oh yeah I've got to mention that oh my bad okay so I put 44 of the Eulorium dust right this stuff here in the machine uh, over there to cook up I got 56 out of it 56 out of it you know how awesome that is 56 out of 44 before we will get we weren't even touching it so so I am quite happy with the end result massively now I am breaking it down to smelt if I can actually find a smelter Can't buy what? Weird. I know you can smelt it. Like it's already said here, you can turn it into your lorium, and then you can turn it, you know, probably into an ingot somewhere along these lines here. Which no. So you can put it through your basic first smelting anyway to get one. So this is turning from a hundred or fifty-six into a hundred and I don't know how many it is, a lot. So quickly cook this up so we like eat this. I can't because I'm full. Oh well, put this in here. But I think right, so we don't have to worry about our power in here now. The power is actually being pushed out. So, yeah, we only, we've used out of all that power nothing. I would like to stay on this and not use our big reactor because, as I said, I want to pull this down later, move it out here, put it down from here, like out here, and build 11 by, or actually the, a really big size to make like 15k a second, even more. Um, fill all the inside of it up with a... Um, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, there used to be a f fluid dropper of some sort. I think it was from Buildcraft that actually used to fill them up nicely. I don't know if it they have one now, but I'll probably do something that way. But now we are actually cooking up a heap of these. I will try and cook them up in here, which it looks like it does. I don't know why it wasn't showing the powered furnace. See, it's, it's working. So basically, I doubled our lot of this. We have three down the bottom which I can actually reuse. So we could be, uh, if we go back to here, we can combine it with glowstone, uh, uh, glowstone some more, but it uses a hell lot of tertius dust. But you'll get four I think it is out of it or something like that we got. So we could do it that way or we could just use this until the end of time and yeah. Uh, still cooking it. I'm like why isn't there much and it's like oh it's still cooking so yeah we have heaps but this will probably stay on longer if I make two more of these which I'm very tempted to do I'll re have to rearrange this area because um, actually no I wouldn't I can actually just make it over here and do um, the water one here and the rock crusher there or something like that anyway but or I can move actually these under underneath so I love the look of them but you need water there and water in the rock cleaner so uh, I need to have a separate one because yeah I mean I could turn I can just turn this off and put all this in here uh, I actually get a chest that out and then that will fill up but it's slow so even if I could do double it, it still will fix this so yeah we'll have to work something out anyway anyway to continue on we have lots of eulorium so we don't actually have to worry about that anymore 
this is pumping out enough to actually oh maybe not I know this is this gets used a lot uh, what power am I at at the moment so I'm only doing 4,000 power but I did fill it so and it's using still the 0 0.11 millibucket so it's all over the place I'm thinking the more full it is the more heat it gets huh okay but I would like to actually have open computers because you can set up to control all this plus turbines and all this other funky stuff so yeah that's fine because that's actually starting to power it maxing out this so it can't actually draw the full amount so the rest is filling up this buffer which is good this is still continuing on nearly full so we need more of them so this is nearly at max because you think this has got oh no, it's got the gem one upgrade in it so yeah So, currently just peeving around again, because this is how I roll, this is how I play. So, and as I said, I don't know a way to auto craft them yet, so I don't mind doing it manually because it takes a while to get there. I don't mind chucking in how many, like 400 and something, so I mean I could convert another 400 easily. But anyway, we need we needed more quartz which is on the way um, for see so it is slow so I'll probably will make another one even if it's just a rock cleaner I don't know actually I'll uh, update upgrade them to impulse ducks because they're the old ones and faster servos so what we'll do is we'll grab four of them four of them none of them four of them and all of them because we'll probably need to upgrade lots I think I need more uh, impulse ducks uh, the harden so I've got two pulverized lead so I need more obsidian which I need another one of them because I'll need lava and water going to it but anyway and we'll remove this and we'll put you there oh, this one actually has a reinforce so we swan can go straight to the signalum but the good thing about this one is this pulls out how look at that now see so then it will pull out whatever it is I wonder if I should put a chest in the middle because then it can just keep pumping in and out as it likes and not stopping this one but the rock crusher looks like it's the issue so it's very slow this keeps up with it nicely these all got pretty some decent so this one doesn't need to be updated this actually can be broken down sucks you can't just right click to change these so and then from that on point it doesn't really matter and oh well it wouldn't matter anyway if that was connected because it's actually not pushing out so yeah, looks like the rock crush is the issue. Everything else gets pulled out pretty quick. So I might make another rock crusher and put it right here. Power. And then I can just in straight like that and that should speed it up. Rock crusher time, boys. So... I would like to do the compressed one, but... Yeah broken brain fart and this one actually requires the advanced crystal which I don't have enough so yeah put all this back and keep that actually um, that can go oh we're full so like that that 
take that. Just way too much crap. That doesn't need to be in there. And I don't even know why I got one. Oh, that's right, because I picked it up. Same with that. Um, okay. Because that needs to be cleaned. I know I'm wasting more time by doing this, but things need to be done. Okay, so I need to make a, another block of this. Uh, so we need one of them to R on. So we need the I, I, so that's more redstone, more of them, and more of them. got the bloods and more netherrack which since I'm doing blocks I don't need that many anymore uh, and these two do I have any more of these? Uh, no because that will make it uneven so there we go we got four blocks so how many bloods do we have in here? We have five blood orbs. So we'll try and push for five then. We'll need more ender pearls, which we may be out. And we are. Doink, doink, doink. Grab a stack. And doink, 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 back. And then. There is our ender pearls. Now we need the eye, so we want five of these, uh, apple, since I actually have some of them already, so all we need is a little bit more of that, and apples. Okay, so you put apple in. Now you cannot actually mix these because it will send any type of them. It won't send that batch, so you only can have one set at a time. If you have it set more than one at a time, then you will. Or if you have too much or these mixed at a time, you will screw the system. Now, I tried to have this routed all the way back down and around, and it didn't work for some reason. It just kept buggering up, so yeah, I didn't bother with it. So this will tell me how many I have left, and it looks like it should be the last one. Nope, actually have four left. So this is why I want the thermal thing happening here. Um, actually, I can make that. What was stopping me from making it before? Oh, that's right. No, I can make it. I just can't upgrade it. That's right, because to upgrade it, you need that. And this is from this, and you need the refracted wax. So I should really get on bees on this one. Um, but I really want to get this refined storage up and running. Once this is up and running, it should be good. And I'll, I will basically start making um, all the bits and pieces to store it all and automate everything for refined storage and then I'll move on to it because I'll use refined storage to upgrade 
or run or do the bees for me till I get start getting refracted wax. Or if I don't use refined storage, I'll just use pipes with filters and and stuff. So yes, um, I can't do this just as yet because that has four left. So what I'll do is I'll plop. Ah no, that's that's not what I wanted. Wonder if I no cool. I will plop you here and I'll put you in here because you are next in line. Um, I don't know why I clicked on there. So we're really backed up into a corner again in process of what we're aiming for. I know I want to build another rock crusher but I keep stuffing around or oh, there's 30 so um, can I duplicate nether on? I can. To get that, oh my god, you need an alchemy and then you need blaze rods. So apparently they spawn on nether rack. So yummy, yummy. So we want to make nether rack. Um, so that's nether brick. Is it nether brick or nether rack that they spawn on? I don't remember. I think it might be nether brick. So let's get some of these. If not, that does not matter. I want a bow. Um, if I go tinkers, that means I need to do their whole setup of a bow. Is there another type of bow? There's a living wood bow. I wonder what that's like. Because that should shoot mana. Can't touch the draconic evolution, nor mechanism, mystical agricultural, there's silent gems. I know I can go through Tinkers and make a really good bow through this, but the problem is there's a few pr um, issues with them. Well, not a few issues, it's just arrows and stuff like that, because, yeah. I might actually make a living wood bow, because that seems easy. And that probably should, or that should use mana, so. I think. Uh, unless it's oh. still six. Oh, does not use mana. Must still use a simple arrow. Am I getting rid of arrows? No. So, there we go. It must use mana to maintain it. I will want to get... put these blocks away. So you can go and you can go. Do I have my wand? I do have my wand. Um, I actually want to get a couple of those potions too. I have been storing them. This will actually allow me to spawn other things in the... So... What was that? That's the splash potion and that's the splash potion. So I want to carry a couple of them. Just in case. And I have food. And I will go to the nether. Build out the platform. Build some nether brick. And hopefully the blaze spawns. All I need is a couple. And then that will... I'll need... what? So... And as you can see, I need to F7 to 
make sure no baddies spawn. Um, I want her to be some away. And I'll probably, I should have grabbed the door and all the other stuff to go with it, so... Three, four, five, six. See, I had to make a six, didn't I? God damn it. I, it has to be uneven, so. So that's six, seven, and then. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's an eight. Uh, then that won't be any in the middle. Why do you. Why? Why? why has to be. Okay, that's actually wrapping up point in time. Um, I will just quickly pause it here and restart another one quickly. So you will come back pretty much straight away. So thank you for watching um, and I will see you in the next episode. Have fun and laters.